everyone. I am here with the... I always try to do kind of like alliteration. So an adjective that starts with H. Maybe happy, okay. hilarious, hot. Hot, happy, hilarious. That's right. Hot. Hail the sun. How are you guys? We're great. Good. We are hot and hot. I said happy, not hot. Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Full of hot. Happy, happy. Yeah. But we're good. Thank you for having us. Okay, so um, how is your 2016 Vans Warped Tour experience going so far? It's been a blast. It's been a, it's been a grinding tour, but uh, a lot, lot of exposure comes with it. So we're meeting a lot of new fans and old ones. Just yeah. having a good time playing music for a lot of people. So. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Lots of, a lot of work, but making so many friends and uh, meeting a lot of new fans. And, Pretty much been sweating, yeah, sweating a lot too. Yeah, yeah I agree with everything yeah. they just you said. You guys just released your latest album, Culture Scars, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and tell us a little bit about the album because the title's rather captivating. I mean, like, I heard it and I saw it and I was like, okay, this isn't, yeah, you know, <laughs> the concept behind it all. Well, it, it's, not so we, it's not so much a concept album, but once the songs are written, we can kind of go over and think, okay, what, what could be reoccurring here? And it's essentially um, the scars that culture has on, on a person. Something that may be, uh, be as simple as you're supposed to go get a career after college and you don't do it. it can have a, a really bad impact on a person's life when, because that's culturally accepted as something to do. Um, when that's not always the case for everyone, everyone should kind of do what they feel they, they can do. And that's a small example, but that is the overall encompassing. Um, it's like a string that's tied through every song. It's some idea of the way that uh, one's culture leaves negative marks on, on their life somehow. Um, I saw one of your recent videos, also Entertainment Lies, and it was pretty strong also. Like, uh, you have this. It's not a concept album, you said, but like this kind of motif, I guess, maybe? I don't know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, what motivated or influenced kind of this creation, this video? The, the, the Entertainment Lies video? Um, well, the video was shot, of course, because of the, the lyrics of the song. And um, it's always been something that has been in the back uh, of my head. But when we were recording at Voodoo Studios, we all watched another documentary about the adult entertainment industry and what some, some of those girls firsthand go through. Um, and it's not an anti-porno or anti-telling girls don't do this video. Everyone can make their own decision. So I feel like it's just presenting a side of a story that is often very, very overlooked. And uh, it teaches uh, men, especially young men, uh, in my opinion, that Those types of, of movies and, and truths teach boys different ways to interact with the opposite sex that aren't at all the way it really is. So I think it was just nice to have watched that video together and thought, why not put this into a song now about what we just watch and it. It just helps make you think too. We like to make people think a lot. Exactly. Always. Just provoke them. Um, so what's the best part or your favorite part about being on Warped Tour? Mm. The food is up there because they cater really good. But I think just the overall meeting this many bands and being in the same place because usually you go on a tour with three, four, five other bands. But this one is a massive tour with 50 plus bands. So I think just the opportunity to network and meet some really funny and talented people, it's, that's pretty cool. I would say my favorite is uh, the fact that it's such a large opportunity to get your band out there to a new fan base that hasn't heard of you before, especially for us, considering uh, in the lineup we're one of the smaller bands, uh, so it's nice to be able to uh, be able to put in that grassroots effort again to really try to get ourselves out there and get ourselves into as many people's eyes and ears as we possibly can. Okay. Um, what's your favorite place that you've performed at? Either on this tour or another tour, you know, a really memorable show that you guys have conducted. Good question. What is it? Orlando at Back Booth has been incredible experiences in the past. It's a 
show's really great. The area that the venue's at is great. And I like the environment. I thought it was really cool. We played in uh, Montreal, Canada, and it was nice because it, it was it was different because they speak primarily French there. So it was we were in a different country, but it was like being in a foreign country. So it was it was pretty cool. I, I would say that one was a pretty memorable one. I really like um, in Philadelphia the Union Transfer. Yeah, yeah, it's just a giant, giant venue with uh, balconies, so it's kind of cool playing with people looking down on you. And it's a big stage with good sound, so I like that. Okay, on the topic of live performances, do you guys ever change your lyrics during live sets? No, very, very rarely. Yeah, very, very rarely. Accidentally. Um, <laughs> it's, if it happens, fifty percent of the time it's accidental. The other 50% of the time, it's like just a spur of the moment thing, yeah. But never play. Okay, uh, what would you say are the biggest obstacles the bands face today? Biggest obstacles we have faced, I think, is one. It, I'll name one. They, they could probably name a bunch of others. Is uh, it bands in general that you ask? Bands or us? Bands in general. Oh, okay. Uh, well, from 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 a, I guess a personal standpoint, it, uh, one of the hugest things, which is obviously a whole which is sometimes over overlooked, is just finding the right people to be able to commit most of their life to doing this while still living other lives outside of the band. Um, that can be a hang up for, but that's why bands break up before they even get started sometimes. So that's, that's always a big obstacle, is finding ways to make it work for everyone, schedule wise, personal life wise, financially. Um, that those are always big obstacles when you're investing into a musical entity. Um, so what advice would you give beginners or people who are facing these obstacles? Work through them however you can. I think yeah. that's like a very important thing is just to be persistent and to not stop. Okay then, since you guys are special guests, <laughs> we're gonna do two games today, yes. right? Yes. Yeah! Okay. So the first one is word association, and I'm gonna tell you a word, and then you tell me which one of your band members you think of when you hear this word. Oh, cool. I like okay. This. All right. So Wait, for do the. Do you say it at the same time, or are you gonna go one um, by one? You know, one by one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hungry. Me. John. I was gonna say me. <laughs> it could be more than one, I guess. I'm gonna apply to one. Yes, me. Well, it's okay. <laughs> we'll go find Eric. Okay. Awkward. Shane. Shane. Who's not here right now? Yes, he's off. Shane. <laughs> okay, charming. John. John. Yeah, me. Okay. <laughs> Look at that charm right there. Yeah. Charming, yeah. Fangirl. Fangirl? I, I don't, I couldn't pin down on anyone. Mm. Our fill in drummer, Alan. Alan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's his first big tour, so he's been pretty starstruck. This, this he's our friend, mind you. He's not just some kid. That yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's, a, he's, he's a good guy. guy. Did you guys just say that at the same time? He's, he's That's pretty guy. great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Well then. It's charming. It's charming. Oh, it's charming. <laughs> I'm charmed. Uh -huh. Um, drunk. John. John. <laughs> That's that's typically me. I've not had a beer yet today, though. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty rare. Change, so. <laughs> yeah, we gotta end this. <laughs> adorable. I would say Donnie's adorable. Donnie, yeah, Donnie. He's an adorable guy. Lazy. Hmm. None of us want it. Let's just say Shane because he's not here. Okay. Shane. Shane. He was too lazy to even come here. He's so Shane. Shane. Allergy issues. Yeah, he's sick. Shane is sick. <laughs> <laughs> Mature? Eric. Eric. <laughs> Nerd. Shane, I'd say Shane. Oh, Shane, yeah. Probably Shane. He reads. Plays Pokemon. But, but it is. <laughs> dirty. Just John. I'm dirty. In every way, <laughs> physical, mentally, emotionally, drunk, dirty, and charming. <laughs> I'm pretty dirty right now. So. Unfortunate. Mm. I don't know. Can I say my life as a whole? <laughs> <laughs> and 
and the last one, sexy. Ooh. I go with Eric. He's a sexy dude. And Donnie, too. There was a slight pause. <laughs> I'll go with Eric. Yeah. Oh, and Donnie. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's sitting here. right here. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, yeah, him too. Probably you, of course. I would say, I would say Eric and John are pretty, like, tied for me. Shane, you know what? I'm going to throw Shane something. <laughs> Shane's sexy. Throw him something good. Yeah, I'm going to throw it. I'm not just giving that. That's not a pity sexy. Okay, so then we're going to do the second game. Holla, would you rather? Okay, so the first one. Would you rather win the board game at the last possible second or by landslide? Landslide. landslide. Oh, last yeah. possible second. I want to second. crush my opponents. I like, I like the surprise, oh, the build up. I'm changing mine. Exactly what he said. Yes. When the person thinks they're going to win and last minute you fuck them, that is the best. I just want to push everyone down and just <laughs> stomp on them and be the king the entire <laughs> the time. King. There are two kinds of people in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather ride shotgun or be in control of the music? Ooh. Shotgun. Ride shotgun or be in control of the music? Be in control of the music, for sure. I'd say shotgun. Yeah. Ride in the trunk, controlling yeah. the iPod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the super long aux cord. Um, okay. Would you rather be someone's best friend or the favorite child? Favorite child. I'd be I'd be a best friend. Probably favorite child. I'd be allowed to eat your five favorite foods for a year, or only be allowed to eat your five favorite foods for a year. Not be allowed. Not be allowed. I would eat my five favorite. Foods. I have a lot. Yeah. Of, I have a lot of favorite foods, so I'll be able to get by on that one. Uh, be permanently bald, or always have floor length hair. Floor length <laughs> hair. You'd be like stepping all over it. Doesn't Can you matter. put it up in a bun, or is it happening? Like, you mean like Cousin It? Like it covers your yeah, entire floor, body? Just floor length like hair. I'd rather be, per wait, permanently bald? Forever? Yeah. Oh, your hair's but so if nice you have though. floor length hair, can't you just cut it? Or like you have it's to deal with that always. forever? You cut it, it grows back like Santa Claus. I'd rather be bald. I would, I, would, I would treat up my hair, put it in like a nice bun. You can't. It's going to hit the floor. All right, then I'll, yeah. I'll drag it, I'll just yeah. <laughs> put it in one dreadlock, it just goes up. <laughs> it's like Kid and Blake, just <laughs> yeah. one tall, flat top. Okay, um, the next one. Would you rather live without electricity for a week or live without running water for a week? Electricity. Electricity, for electricity sure. yeah. Need um, that water for a lot. Okay, this one's my favorite. Would you rather be atta attacked by 50 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Duck-sized horses. Duck-sized horses. One horse-sized. That would be oh, a one horse-sized duck. I just want to take it on. 50, 50 duck-sized horses. Yeah, uh, adorable. They would be so cute. I oh think my that. god, I want to nah, pet they'd them. Get you. They'd be cute till they. But they're attacking you. us, right? I want, I want to pet them. They're I'm gonna go. With they'd be biting you. That's okay. I'll, I'll, let's go with that one. I'd go with the 50. Yeah, like 50. Yeah. Giant duck would be I would make the giant duck my my horse. <laughs> I would ride it around. Make it fly. I fly on its back. Yeah. It's tough. Okay, would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Wait, say that again? The oh. date or the cause of your death? I would, I would go by cause. Ugh. That would either. scare me. Oh, no, I don't want to know either of those things. Cause, yeah. Because, like, date, then you know when it's death. If I had to actually pick cause, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty I had sure a I bit of cause, but that's really freaking morbid. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to. But do a either. good question, nonetheless. So. Okay, would you rather speak all foreign languages fluently or be able to speak to animals? Oh, animals. Yeah. But can they speak back, or am I just talking to them and they have no idea what's going on? I'm gonna go all foreign languages because that would feel smart. Animals still. I think foreign languages. <laughs> I think I could get a lot more accomplished. You can meet so many people. And being able to speak. <laughs> so all the travel, animals. you're not going to meet any. <laughs> yeah. I speak 18 languages, but I stay here in Miami my whole yeah. life. Yeah, I, I don't know what <laughs> how can I, I'm, How can I even be comfortable? You can learn a, like dozens of languages if you wanted to. To be able to speak to animals, you can't learn that. that that's, my, that's my defense of my answer. I mean, I can speak to animals. It just takes a couple bottles of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> And that's yeah, why yeah. that's why you're the one associated with the word drunk. Yeah, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather shoot fire or shoot ice? Shoot fire or shoot ice? Probably ice. Fire, fire. would be cool. Because I could just cook anything. Fire. Any yeah, but I feel like it would get out of your control really quickly. I would kill a lot of loved ones, I think. 
<laughs> okay. Would you rather have legs as long as your fingers or fingers as long as your legs? Fingers as long <laughs> as my legs. Really long fingers. Yeah, uh, uh, as opposed to the opposite one, <laughs> yes. Oh Unless I'm walking around like this. I would like so your fingers would be like these right here. These yes. would be your fingers. Yes. Oh. I'm uh, it's not ideal, That'd but be it's better than walking around on little tiny... Yeah, because I like... they'd be like this, this tall, and your legs would be like be super top heavy. heavy. But they'd be super swole. They'd be strong legs. So I'm going to go with the small legs. I'm going to go with long fingers. And then the last one. Would you rather never have internet access or always have Nicolas Cage within three feet of you? <laughs> always have Nicolas Cage within three feet of me. No brainer. Yeah, I like yeah, I, I like really Nick Cage. Nicolas Cage. He's pretty cool in my in my eyes. It doesn't it matter who it is. No internet access is detrimental. Yeah. So. But Nick Cage anyone. might be talking to the whole time. It doesn't matter. It could be anyone. All right. You could ask him to like narrate your life. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be good. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being here with us. Thank and you. Thanks for being here. Yes. Thanks.